Rocco Baldelli was right about one thing for sure. September baseball's totally different than the other five months. Question for OOTP players, especially ones in historical saves, is are you taking advantage of those differences? I'm going to cover the details and decisions you should be considering whether you're in a race or not. Bear in mind this is historical game focused where you can expand to up to 40 players and your approach will differ depending on the era you're in. These concepts can play well with standard games as well, though your options are more limited with rosters expanding only two spots. Let's start with teams in contention. If you're in a playoff race, the goal is to squeeze every ounce of value out of your current 25 players plus your call-ups. This starts with 40-man roster construction well in advance of September. The two main features of this plan are bullpen depth and specialists. You'll want at least three extra relief pitchers in September, and they should meet two criteria. First, they should have equal or better stuff movement control than your fifth starter, and second, they should be on minimum salaries. This is important because they'll only incur one-sixth of that salary in the minors, so they're basically free. You don't want to burn your budget on a bunch of extra relievers. Bullpen arms with heavy splits are a bonus. It's easy to use specialists in September because your bullpen's so deep. They can't get exposed as easy. If you're GM only, you can also set their secondary roles to ensure they get regular work. The AI puts quad A relievers on waivers all the time during the regular season. And on top of that, if you have budget available after the trade deadline, you can even pick up a few higher priced relievers. These extra arms allow our starters to have a much shorter leash. These relievers are more effective than starters their fourth time around the order, so we're gonna take advantage of that. All of your starters should get a 27 batter face limit, a pitch count, and the aggressiveness tired hook on. You might want to tinker with 18 batters in the modern times or 36 batters in the dead ball era, but either way, the premise is avoiding times to the order penalties. This is all done on the player strategy pages and optimizes the performance of your expanded pitching staff. As a side benefit, it also reduces the likelihood of injury. We're going to optimize our relievers too. You want aggressive tiredness hook on and batters face to nine. We never want a reliever going a second time around the order. You also can set the RP bench when fatigue a little higher for your less important relievers. If you're playing in modern times, the use of openers is also highly recommended. We're trying to accomplish two things with position players. First, we want to take advantage of special skills and high leverage situations. That means we want call-ups that are really good at something. We'll use them in platoons, pinch hitting, pinch running, and defensive replacement roles. Second, you want to fill out your depth chart three deep at every position. That gives you flexibility to use those specialist substitutes aggressively. In particular, having a third option at shortstop and catcher can really help you exploit your bench. Bear in mind, calling up prospects is only a good idea if they have low morale in the minors or if they're going to get meaningful playing time either as a starter or a specialist. They are losing out on more playing time in AAA, and they're accruing Major League Service time. Playing out the string is a little simpler. Your two objectives are to develop players and prevent injuries. The situation applies when you are out of the race, or when you're a lock to make the postseason. Your pitching staff setup is somewhat similar to a contender. We're still going to use batter limits and pitch counts for our starters, but for the purposes of injury prevention rather than optimization. We'll still put the aggressiveness tired hook on all of our pitchers, and under no condition will we let a pitcher take them on with a day-to-day -day injury. But we go two steps further in this case by turning to a six-man rotation with rotation mode of strict order on. To accommodate this, you'll either need to call up a sixth starter or move a reliever that can start into that number six role. You'll also want to call up most, if not all, the relievers on your 40-man. The main exception is a prospect who you'd want to control service time on or should get more experience in the minors. We're also going to protect our relievers from overuse by setting our RP bench when fatigue. I've shown 100 here, but you can use a lower value if interested. You'll also see I've set position player fatigue to 100 as well. Because we want to prevent serious injury there too. An alternative to this is set your bench to start every X number of games, whichever works for you, you should also bench anyone with day-to-day -day injuries here. I don't recommend completely benching your best starters though because it can hurt their morale. You don't need to call up many players here. I recommend calling up anyone on your 40-man that is unhappy in the minors. Call up prospects if you're going to give them serious playing time, though be careful with service time. 
One last consideration if you have room on your 40 man, if there's a prospect about to become Rule 5 eligible, you can consider calling them up now. It won't cost you an option as long as you keep them up the remainder of the season. September is one-sixth of the MLB regular season. It's a different game. Don't take that for granted. I hope you can use some of these tips in your saves. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful, and you're welcome to comment with any questions or if you want to add anything for the audience. Also interested to learn what other tutorials might be of interest as well. You can also subscribe if you want to be notified of other tutorials or follow my historical save. Thank you very much for watching.